Hi, my name is Matias Gonzalez, and I am somebody. Hi, Matias. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? You know, I'm alive, blessed, and highly favored. So tell me, who is Matias Gonzalez? Um, well, um, I am, um, I'm first mostly a son of God. Um, I am an entrepreneur. I am a worship leader. Um, I'm a musician. Um, I'm a people's person. I love my family, I love friends. Um, yeah, that's just me, I'm very simple. What do you think really makes you who you are? Uh, my experiences, like everything I went through in my life. Um, I had a really, um, I would say rough life, um, you know, growing up with a single mother and, you know, seeing how she had to fight for me and my sister. It made me be the man that I am today. Um, also, my father, my stepfather, um, he helped me a lot with my walk and just being able to learn from those experiences and those hard moments just growing up, you know, you know, in the streets sometimes as well, you know, and not having really much of role models in my life to look up to and people I can look up to and be like them. So it was really like the experiences that I had to go through that made me the person that I am today. And most importantly, um, just, Seeking God, man. So if you could think back to one experience that resonates in your mind from a child to the man that you are today, which experience would you say had the most uh, imprint on you or the, the most effect on you? I could say, um, so when my mother was single, like just not having that father figure, it was really hard for me. Um, I even remember like going to school, middle school, like these, this, this experience, like it just all adds up to big, one big experience. It would be um, like, you know, getting bullied in school, really. Um, I remember like getting off the bus and like just people always wanted to fight me and all this stuff. And it, it was really hard for me because I didn't have like that father figure. So what really, really, really got me was not having that father figure. And I even remember myself just crying myself to sleep at night, you know, hopefully um, finding that role model. So I could say really the moments in school when I, you know, you know, I, I didn't fit in with the crowd, um, really just didn't have my identity. I didn't know who I was as a, as a person. I was insecure, I was scared. So I could say like, you know, in, those, in that area where it was school and being home with my mom. So you said you're an entrepreneur, a worship leader, a people person. Which one of those titles is your favorite? Or do you have a favorite? Yeah, people's person. People's person, because people's person, um, the byproduct is worship leader. And the byproduct is entrepreneur. The byproduct is family. You know, I first love people. I first loving, you know, pouring into people, growing with people, learning from people, hearing from people. And from that comes with me being a worship leader, you know, leading worship in my church, leading worship in different areas. Um, also being an entrepreneur right now, I'm a sales representative. I'm going to um, build my own business and stuff like that. So it's just all of this comes with like talking to people. So I definitely people's person. That's my favorite quality. What is your favorite thing about people? My favorite thing about people is that oh, their souls, you know, their hearts. I love, I love people's hearts. I love, I love listening to other people. I love listening to their stories. I love to see what can I do? How can I put myself into their story? How can I help them any way I can? I, lo I just love listening to people and, and help them in any way I can, any advice or and even just l needing helping from them, you know? Sometimes I go through hard times and I just need to hear somebody else. So we, at the end of the day, we all really just need each other. Sound like you need to be on the team, everybody, somebody. Yeah, um, I actually spoke to the um, the manager, the the owner of the business, uh, Tyrus Duncan. Hey, that's me. Oh, there you go. All right. Um, and um, I actually want to be one of his sales representatives, so I can, you know, you know, make his brand go go even farther. Because I do believe that this brand is going to is going to be huge. But in order for it, before it needs to be huge, it needs to go through a process, and it's exactly what it's going through. But I do believe that in due time, it, like the, it will reap the harvest, and this this brand is gonna is gonna go crazy. I receive it, brother. I receive it. So, what are the three biggest things that keep you going in this life? Um, first, God, obviously, He is my everything. He is my source of life. He is my source of happiness. He is my really my why. Why I do things. Um, second would be um, you know my family. 
my family keeps me pushing forward, you know, just seeing them every day. I'm like, dang, bro, I want to be that, that person that helps them in life one day and just be that leader. And then most importantly, lastly, I say this is the best for last, uh, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, Jessica. She is the, my biggest inspiration. She is why I do what I do in this day to, you know, leave a legacy and, um, you know, build a future with her and, you know, take over the world with her. Uh, how sweet. Yeah. If you had a message that you could tell the whole world, all 7.7 .7 billion people in the world, Jesus. I think it's 7.7, 7.8, something like that. Dang. A number almost around 8 billion people. If your face was on everybody's TV or your voice was on everybody's radio and you had a chance to tell everybody anything, what would you say? Um, I would say love everyone and live the moment. And when I say live the moment, I like just go crazy. I'm about to go, you know, rob a bank or, you know, go, 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 you know, smoke a blunt or whatever. Like, you know, that's on you. If you want to do that, that's on you. I don't, I, personally, that's not me. But I would say uh, live the moment and love the people because we only live, we only live once. And we only have such short time to love on people. And you never know what that person could be going through because um, your love can be transmitted and, and pouring into them. You know, just like yesterday at my job, I didn't even know this girl that, that I was working with. And she was going through hard times and I just, you know, began to pour into her and I just loved on her. I'm like, hey, you know, this, this, and this, this, and this. And she was like, wow, like, thank you so much. Just love on people. So my main thing that I would tell the 7.7 .7 whatever billion people in this world, <laughs> however, whatever it is, is to love people, love the people around you. Don't hate, don't talk about people. Don't don't say, oh, you're this, you're that. Don't be like, don't talk behind nobody's back. Be, be straight honest with people and, and love them at the end of the day. That's a powerful message. Thank you, Matias. You're welcome. Spirit, leave me when my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the breath. Yeah. 